Hello, I'm Guy Hutchinson. This is Pointless Nostalgia. In the movie Blank Check, Miguel Ferrer, Tone Loke, and Michael Lerner held Butch off the top of this building. They leaned this kid over to try to get information out of him. If you remember the movie, kid gets a blank check from a mobster. The mobster assumes he's gonna fill it out with a few hundred bucks. He doesn't, puts a lot more. And Butch is this kid that they call him a lawyer because he wants to raise the price. Anyway, they hang him over the side of this building. I'm gonna show you the shots we can match up. Let's take a look. So here's the shot that they show in the movie just before they show them up top on the roof. You can tell it's from this corner because you can see the uh, fire escapes running down. So it was a little bit further over, maybe like this way. And they show them from there. Then they cut to them on the roof. And I think they did film on the roof. We see the guys up there. And you can see the structure up there. You can see how ornate and beautiful it is. And there's Butch. And they're telling him they're gonna, they're gonna hang him over. And they do right here in downtown Austin. Uh, we are not far from where we were yesterday. We were on a walk and we stopped here. And so we're gonna continue here. Right over here is the Paramount Theater. And I forgot to tell you guys yesterday that the Paramount used to be called the Majestic and one of the performers was Harry Houdini. I got a playbill from it. Let me show it to you. So here is the ad. It actually, I said playbill, but it was not a playbill. It was a uh, advertisement. Friday night's performance. Houdini will be strapped in a punishment suit here at the Majestic Theater, which was right here, Paramount Theater. Yesterday, they were playing 2001 A Space Odyssey. Today, they've got Labyrinth on the billboard there on the uh, marquee. Beautiful as ever says up top 1885 and then it says 1915 and in the middle it says a man's name Joseph Nell and I honestly don't know who that is but yeah here it is if you watched the video yesterday we talked about they did the premiere of Batman 66 right here they did a parade Burgess Meredith was in a uh, was in a car he's dressed as the penguin in full costume right here uh, there's actually some pictures of them relaxing upstairs in those windows I believe it was right up there, these set of smaller windows there that you can see behind them. I'll put the picture on the screen. I'm not 100% sure, but maybe, maybe. They had to be relaxing somewhere around here, wherever their dressing rooms were. Look at the beautiful neon sign in front of Kruger's Jewelers. You can see it has Kruger's right down here in the, uh, what is this called, Terrazzo? Terrasmo? It's not marble, but whatever that stuff is. Stars of Texas. We're taking a walk today. We're gonna to walk down to the Capitol building. We're gonna take some uh, shots of the outside of that. See if we can get in. I don't know if it's open to the public today or if there's specific days or how any of that works, but we'll take a look and we'll see what else we can find. It's gonna be a fun day. Glad you're here. Stick around, stay till the end. Let's go. Here's this mural. Got this uh, old car here. It's kind of like a GTO. Got this guy, I'm not sure who that is. And then there's the Capitol Dome, which is right around the corner. I like these uh, these blocks here, very spaceshipper. Top notch, love ye neighbor, love your neighbor, Asco. Vroom, vroom. It says here, this is the Thornton Ferry Boat Propeller. And this has been here, it says, since they replaced the propeller in 2001. It says Texas right on it. This is across from the Capitol. And they shot a scene from one of my favorite movies right here. So in the movie, A Perfect World, uh, Clint Eastwood plays a cop. I think he directed the movie as well. Kevin Costner plays a convict who kidnaps a young boy, but then treats him in a nice way, in a way that he thinks is good. It's an interesting movie because you're kind of left with wondering whether the villain is the villain. He is still the villain, but uh, he takes care of that kid and he cares about the kid quite a bit. Uh, I really love this movie. It's a very interesting film. And in the movie, 
they're showcasing a trailer that they set up for, I think, the governor to ride around in. And they're showing it off right out here. And Clint Eastwood was standing right over there. And then Clint Eastwood says, well, we're gonna take this to use on our manhunt. And he drives it over away, drives it right towards the Capitol building. I'll show you the stuff we There's can match a up. fence here covering just the area where it actually would have been. So I can't exactly match it up, but we're pretty close. Now, if you look, notice how the parking garage slopes upwards there. You can see this shot here of Clint Eastwood. And he's standing here in front of this building. You can see the railings right there. And you can see this gray door behind these two cops here. And that's over here. And that was there. And so Clint was walking right along the trailer, which would have been right here. So it would have been on the other side of this fence, but one side of it, we could probably touch it if we reached over like that, if we were here at that moment. And then Clint says, I, I'm gonna take this, starts pulling all these uh, buntings off of it. You can see up there, state headquarters, starts pulling them off and he takes off and I, he drives, I think over this way, but he drives over out to use it on the manhunt with uh, the politician screaming, you know, no, 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 don't take it he drives it over there. He shot a lot of the movie in Austin, but Austin as a region is pretty big. And so some of the places I looked up were like 45 minutes away. Some were about a half hour away. This was the one I found that was walking distance. There's another one, the house where he gets kidnapped, which I think may have been torn down in the past few years because the Google Street View is a few years old and all of the other houses in the neighborhood like leading up to that are torn down. So I'm thinking like BlackRock or something bought all these old houses tearing them down, putting new houses. So I think it's gone, but I haven't gotten over there. I might get over there tomorrow, but I don't think so. I got a lot to do tomorrow. Uh, so I think that'll have to wait for next time when I come here, but maybe we'll do a full tour, go to all the places. Uh, sadly, uh, I think it's Dottie's Squat and Gobble, the restaurant has, has closed down. The building's still there, but it's closed down. It's way set back from the street and it's the furthest place. And it was the one I wanted to visit the most. If you've seen the movie, you probably remember that scene. There's a guy across the street. Uh, all right, so there it is. This is the second Travis County Courthouse in Walton building, built in 1875. It was right here. It's not here anymore. These certainly are built much more recently, but look at the Art Deco top on this building. Here's that Art Deco building. It's a Texas Department of Transportation. Up here it says State Highway Building. And just look at the cool design here. I just love buildings that look like this. This is the Capitol building. They lit it up. You see the spaceship there. They lit it up to look like the US Capitol for the movie Spy Kids. I believe uh, the kids went over there to meet with the president in uh, the first or second spike kids. I can't remember now, they kind of blend together. It was definitely one or two though. And they use this. It does look a lot like the US Capitol Dome. It's very, very beautiful. And I do like the statue up all the way on top. This is right on the floor in front. Building's not open, at least these doors aren't right now. And there's no hours listed. But here's what it looks like. There's all this construction going on also on the building over this way, which I said was built in the 1800s. I like to see that. I like to see they're keeping these things up and looking nice. Keeping them looking the way they did. I mean, this is a extremely old Capitol building and probably, I don't know. I've seen some beautiful ones, but this one is real nice. Little can in there. In the movie Best Little Whorehouse in Texas, there's a big sequence in there. Burt Reynolds punches a dude in the face and he slides all the way across the center. So it would be right past those doors under the dome. Yeah. This is impressive. This is the Texas African American History Memorial. I like it. Kind of reminds me of like a old uh, title belt from uh, 
Boxing Federation. Get the shape of it. There's a lot of monuments here. I have a bad habit of spending too long on them on here. And I don't know if anybody else likes seeing monuments as much as I do, but I do want to take a close look at this one. And it's got all the different stories here. It's really beautiful. I like this guy. It says first contact in the Spanish colonial era. But it doesn't say, well, maybe it could be this guy or that guy there it says engineered artworks the Kilroy stars from 2020 it's cool looks like something that would be on top of a gas station I know that I'd say it's art but guess what is art The Belmont. I was thinking of Belmont Stakes. Looks like some kind of uh, police and fire activity up ahead. But I think it looks like we can still walk right by. So we'll walk by, see what's going on there. It's Texas boom here. There was an accident over here on the corner. Looks like everybody's all right. Saw some ladies filling out some paperwork. Surf, uh, turf and surf. They, had a, they flipped it. Turf and surf po boy. Turf looks like a, a football field. All right, we're right down the street from where that accident was, and seen from Spy Kids it was filmed right here. All right, this building was in Spy Kids. Uh, this is machetes, and they've changed it a lot, actually. They added a whole top to it, uh, but you can recognize the top of the old roof, which was here, and you can recognize these three lines that run on either side here. Yeah, there you go. You can see all this. I'm going to put the picture of it right here so you can look at it side by side, but there it is. It's changed a lot since then right here on the corner of Lavaca and Fort. Right here. In the movie, you see the Spy Kids walk out here. The camera would have been set up on that side. They walk out here. You can see in the background this building right here. A lot has changed since then. That says here, we fought the law and the law won. No Tito's handmade vodka could be sold, served, or sipped here. So if you're looking for a drink, it says you can come on in and learn about the, the spirit. Right here, love Tito's. Tito's vodka. Right here from Texas. Look at this. Cactuses. So I'm guessing they used to do tastings there, but not anymore here Austin City Limits the longest running music series in American television history recorded its first program with Willie Nelson on October 74 at KLRU TV at the University of Texas and over here they have a statue of Willie and this is called Willie Nelson Boulevard it says this was dedicated in 2012 Pretty good likeness. That, by the way, is the bridge where we were looking at the bats the other night.
mural. I don't know if you can see it because of the sun glare, but they got a mural of Wonder Woman on that building. This mural says, share the fire. It's right out here. This is Barton Springs Road. East Congress or South Congress is over this way. Look at the bat. The old bat logo. And there's a water tower right above me. Getting some real Petticoat Junction vibes from that. It says Nightwing by Dale Whistler, June of 1998. Looks like it's got some purple paint on it that's peeled off. Here's the Yeti Cup place. And they've got the big water tower there as well as a Yeti billboard up here. You got a couple filming locations right next to each other. Right here is the Texas School for the Deaf, which was used as the school in the movie The Faculty, the horror movie from Kevin Williamson, the writer of Scream. And that was filmed here. And then across the street here, this building was in the parking lot behind this building in the movie Blank Check, where the blank check was written. All right, so before, when I showed you the building that I thought was the one from Blank Check, it was not that one. It was uh, one of these two here. They're kind of identical, but the actual Blank Check scene would have been in the parking lot here. I thought it was in a building that looks exactly like this that's just around the corner over there, but it was right in this spot. And it would have been right over here that he would have skidded his bicycle out and went right along the curb here. And you can see this building in the background. I'm gonna show you from the right angle and then we'll see the police pulled up in front of this apartment complex here. Now, somewhere around here that this shot was. And the reason is because you can see this building, but you can also see that building. If you look straight ahead, see this building with the point, you can see that in the shot as well. So his bike would have been right about here. I think this is a different tree, but see these light posts in the shot and they are the same. And then, see him pull out and I think it's over here next to this building we'll see if we can match that up but yeah he would have been given the blank check right here because the police car would have pulled up on this side and you could see this apartment building in the background when the police car pulls up which is right there and the police car pulled up so he's like here kid gives him the blank check says give it to your father he'll know what to do with it We would have seen Miguel Ferrer's car pull through right here with all these people standing along this fence that you can see right here and you can see the building in the background. So it was this building, not this one and not the one that was near the Texas School of the Deaf, but this is where he pulled out. And over there is where he wrote the blank check. I gotta tell you, I'm glad I found that. I had two different videos I shot showing the other two buildings that I thought were it, two different spots, but this is the right spot, right back here. Well, that'll do it for this one. Come back tomorrow at two o'clock, last day in Austin. Uh, tomorrow, we will be going to the Waffle House where the chair was thrown and caught in a viral video. If you haven't seen it, I'll show it to you tomorrow. Not sure what else we're doing, but it should be a lot of fun. Right now, a box is gonna pop up here and a box over here. You can choose either one. I'm in both. See you tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Take care.